All right, get ready for this video. There's some good fish catches. Probably my best video ever. No, probably. All right, it's February 18th, and we're on Portage Lake to get the first try of the year, 2022, with the boat. Got a little bit of ice. Wind's blowing it right here into the launch. It's pretty well broken up. Hopefully, it won't be a problem. We'll break anything pushing into it. after taking a lot of pictures. It's pretty cool. Only spot of ice on the whole lake is where it's blowing right up for the launch. So it was all broken up. It was pretty thick though. It was a good two inches thick. We had two days, three days for really nice weather, 65 degrees, sunny. And uh, today was about 55. We've got rain coming right now. Uh, looks like there's a shower right over here that hopefully we avoid. Alright. Nice and pretty calm up here. We're gonna shut it off, tie up a couple things, get ready to fish. All right, so that's it. That's all my six rods that I have right now. Said I've got two NVs in for warranty with 13 fishing. Waiting on those to come back, but we'll have eight for the year. And hopefully, will be all we need. See, first thing we're gonna tie on is jerk bait on this one. We'll start with the Junior Clear Laker. I've got some of these Yozuri Redland vibes. I'll try some of those this year. I've tried them in the past. Thought they were all right, but I picked up five or six of them this year. All right, so the rain's getting fast. Quite breezy, so instead of fighting against the wind and going into it, we're gonna go upwind and actually drift with it. Be a little smarter about this. We're gonna go with the wind and make one pass with the rattle bait and uh, see if we get anything to bite that way. Bumped a couple things that felt like fish, but probably a bunch of carp up here on this flat. Maybe this little creek right ahead of me. I've never been over here this close. It's a nice bass right here, but the creek mouth will get off. Let people see it. Two and a half, three pounder. Not bad, first fish of the first bass of the year. I'm the Yozuri Redland vibe. Like I said, there's carp all around. I can see marks are all around. It's only a foot and a half feet deep here. Dark red mouth in there. He is 18 and a half. Should be three and a half pounds. 3.15. Yeah, close enough. 3.3, 3.15. Oh. All right. 18.5 inch or 3.2, 3.15, 3.3, something like that. So, nice. Carp bumps on that one cast. Carp everywhere. Our temperature here is 47.7.
Nice. Just think about changing the color. It was up shallow, a little water. I think this warm temperature by this creek helps. Get three pounder. 18 inches. Yep, 2.95. All right, fish number two. Doing something right. Fishing shallow and aggressively when there's still ice at the shoreline. All right, been here 45 minutes or so fishing. And uh, we're just gonna stick with this for a little while, at least another half an hour or so with the same bait. Let's see what else we can pull off of this spot. We still have to work down the shoreline. There's still another better creek that comes in. I think this is the creek. And there's a second spot where a little creek. So I've never fished it, but usually it's so thick with weeds here in the summertime, you can't even get back here. Water temp dropped down to 42 and a half, just, I don't know, 100 yards away from that creek. I'm just gonna stay on the trolling motor and cast until we get to the other creek, the bigger one. Water temperature should be high over there too. Hopefully more fish. All right, so my, both my cameras are off. Got the 16 incher, uh, 1.74 pounds. We're just getting to the second creek right up here and water temperatures are coming up. They went down to about 42 and now they come back up to 44 or so. Got one, but he's funny. Snag. Water temp coming out of this creek is 49 degrees. Another two and a half pounder. Yeah, two pounder. Jaw. A little 16 incher. Pound and a half, maybe. 15 and a half incher. Getting smaller every second. 1.47. About 3.15, 2.86, 1.74, 1. 1.47. Getting smaller. Oh. Yeah. So small, this is ridiculous. Trunk all the way to 12 and a half inches. There's a big one. Bottom lip. Right in the bottom lip. Oh, 
almost 16. 1.89. Felt like I had a few bites up there. Back up. I don't need it good. Teenager. Right. Turn back around and try the drift pick. Camera's dead, 14 and a half inches. Fish this creek mouth a little bit more with the jerk bait before we move on. Oh, he came off. That was about a 16 incher. Getting silly now. Yeah, 13 inches. I think I'm doing better because now my bait's coming with the flow of the creek. No, it's not the big ones. More little guys. And another one. Almost 14. There's lots of them up here, but they're not big. Yeah, not the big one. Are not in the channel. Fish are not in the channel. That's maybe three. 18 and a half. 3.19. Two three and a quarter pounders on the day. We have a carper here. Dirt stirred up all over down here. I'll splash up here. I bumped a few things. Something just jumped right out there. Was that my fish? 
Look like a bass to me. It's got to be just swarming with carp around here because I'm bumping a lot of things and not getting, not hooking up. These bass are eating it too good to not be fighting it now. I'm really surprised we didn't snag a carp and get it in. There's a bass. That's a good one. That's another three pounder. Eight it deep. Ending fish, he ate it deep. I thought I was gonna snag a carp. I kept bumping things. Thought for sure this was gonna be a carp that I finally snagged. Sorry, dude. Give me a sec. There we go. Chunky. Makes, I think, four 18 inches on the day and one that we snagged. Big fish, 3.72. Alright, let's see if we can catch one more. Alright, last cast, 745, 742, something like that. Just stopped after that last fish. How can you? Alright, was that fun or what? Man, first trip of the year, you can't beat that. Four around, uh, Three pounds and one snagged one that was that size. I don't know if I caught 20 fish. First trip. Never do that good. I want to thank my buddy Jock for giving me some pointers on how to fish right after ice out. He gave them to me last year or so and man, it really paid off. So thank you, Josh. I don't usually do this good this time of year. Appreciate it, buddy. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. First trip of the year, this is the way to break in the boat. Smells like fish, it's all wet. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, have a good day. Hey, hey, the ice is gone. The ice is gone, the ice is gone.